welcome back to Graveyard Creepers and what we're doing today is we're going to build a facade. Uh, we're going to make it look like rock and we're going to put our Frankenstein in here or you can put a zombie or you can put other things inside the facade. So we're going to make it eight foot wide and about two foot deep and I'm going to show you how we do that. So I went ahead and marked off my center points on each of the plywood and I came down 12 inches from the top because my uh, zombie's about six feet, six feet five, something like that. So I want to make sure I got plenty of room for him to go in. And we're going to make this top dome. So I came down 12 inches, and this will be my center point for my 12 inches. And what I did is take a piece of string and put it on this. And this is how we're going to make our oval. So we want to make sure we go all the way to the to the end here. And we'll put it right in the center of that. So that's how we want to, want to make our dome top. And we'll cut that out with a uh, jigsaw. So just like that. So So guys, keep in mind uh, being able to take apart and put together this facade easily as possible.
Sorry, guys. Got to hit my record button. Anyway, this is going to be the floor of the Frankenstein thing. It doesn't have to be real strong. The reason is is because it's not going to be a whole lot of weight on it. I am going to put a couple supports in it though. And that way, once it's in here, my zombie or Frankenstein will stand in here. This will be, uh, it'll look like rock back here. This will not, but this, the back will be rock, the front will be rock, and the top will be rock and the sides. Uh, and this will be rock. So I've got to figure out how to put it in here. I'm probably going to put a couple little uh, two or fours on each side and skin those where people can stand on them beside the facade without actually getting on the facade. So people will be able to take their pictures uh, and stuff with uh, the zombie or Frankenstein or whatever I, I decide to put in there. So, uh, yeah, let's put a couple little braces in there and call it at that. pretty much built as far as the wood goes. Now we're going to do rock. So I'm using one inch foam on here. And this is what I'm doing guys. I'm trying to do this here. If you all can see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of going to guess at the rock. And uh, that way we can go through and take our heat gun and make our divots and different stuff like that. And I'm just going to use this for reference as far as uh, how my rocks are good. Now this is a little wider than what it is in the picture, but you know, it still serves the same purpose.
as I got. I got it all detailed and everything, so now I'm going to paint it all black. And uh, I'll come back in with uh, like a gray and do gray highlights and uh, dry brush so to bring out all that detail. So I'm going to finish painting this black and uh, do from there. guys and this is part of the trio build off and what we got here is a couple skulls and a couple crossbones uh, Keith from cobwebs and candlestick sticks sent these to us me and me Keith and Dave is having a build off and we have to use these skulls somewhere you don't have to use both skulls you can cut them up you can do them however you want to but we have to implement them in this build somehow or another so now I'm gonna figure out how to do these. So I'm gonna chop these up a little bit and uh, we're gonna put them on here and see what it looks like. All right guys, this is at the end of the video. Uh, we are in another rainy day. This is three days straight that it has rained. So we are done with our facade. This is the end of the Trio Nightmare Makers field. And what we did, is uh, Keith made a couple of stalls, crossbones, and we had to incorporate that into our build. So what I did, guys, is I built a stone-looking thing for my zombie or uh, my Frankenstein, so you can put people or inside. And what I did with my bones, guys, is one bone, one skull up there. I cut it down and took the bottom jaw off of it, and I put it on top. And my other skull, I made a toxic bone bucket. So it's got skulls in it, crossbones, leg bones, 
Dustin, legs, feet, and we painted it up, made it pretty, and he's going to live right here with my practice pad. So I'm also going to have a video show you how I did the bone bucket. And I will put that link in the description below so you can go back and watch me do that if you want to. And as always, guys, we appreciate you watching. Don't forget to go over and check out uh, Keith the Cobwebs and Candlesticks and Dave at the Weird Kid Horror Show. So we hope you enjoy this, guys. And uh, as always, don't have to be perfect, guys. And just build it.